Hi, my name is Dr. Whitney. I am the director of the Special Master's Program, and today I'm here to talk to you about different kinds of post -back programs. There are a lot out there. It can be kind of confusing, so I wanted to talk about the different kinds and maybe which one works for what kind of student. So we can break up all of the different post -back programs into four separate categories. The first category would be traditional post -back programs, and then what I'd call traditional master's programs, and then special master's programs, and kind of the catch-all for the rest that I will call other enhancement programs. So traditional post -back programs are specifically designed for students who did not take undergraduate prereqs during their undergraduate year. Sometimes these programs can also be referred to as career changer programs. So these are programs for students who need to take those undergrad prereqs like organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physics, um, biochemistry, and biology. So if you already have those programs, a traditional post -bac program is probably not right for you. The next group would be traditional master's programs. So traditional master's programs are the kind of master's programs that have been around for hundreds of years. They are an opportunity for a student to learn more about one particular uh, subject matter. Most students will do these in some sort of hard science or public health kind of field. So a master of public health would fit in this, masters of pharmacology or biotechnology or anything like that. So they're opportunities for students to take a year or two to learn more and to, to take rigorous science classes to show how well they can do. Uh, the reason I break these up from the other programs we'll talk about is that these are programs, as I said, that are designed to learn about that one particular subject, but they're not designed for pre-medical students. So that usually means that they don't have as much of the pre-health advising and support that the other programs that we'll talk about do. So the other programs that do kind of have that support would be true special master's programs, and then we'll put everything else in other enhancement programs. So our true special master's programs are master's programs that allow students to sit in medical school courses and to take medical school courses and be graded against medical school students. So you might be wondering, why is it called a true, why is it called a special master's program? It's kind of a weird name. And I'll tell you why, and this is a little bit of our humble brag about Georgetown. The reason this group of post -bac programs are called special master's programs is because our program here at Georgetown that was started in 1975 was the first one of its kind. We started this process in the 70s and became the first program and many other programs have come along and done similar things. Um, but we were the first, the OG, and so that's why it's generally called uh, true special master's programs. So not only do you take medical school courses and, uh, and are graded against medical stu school students to really show what you can do in that rigorous medical environment, you also are going to get advising and support through that program as well as through all of your medical school applications. Um, the last kind of group of post -bac programs to mention is what I kind of put at the end, which is other enhancement programs. So these are certificate or master's programs that are designed with a pre-medical student in mind. So they usually have advising and support for those students, but they will take graduate school courses in order to show their academic abilities. So there are many questions that you might want to ask yourself as you're thinking about which one of these programs is right for me. You want to think about timing. How much time do you want to put into this? Some programs are short as a year, some are two or three years. You wanna think about what kind of courses are necessary for you. Do you need medical school courses to show your ability? Do you need graduate courses? Do you want a graduate certificate or a master's degree? There are a lot of different questions that you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself when you're looking into this. Um, please stay tuned for our next video in our series to discuss why our special master's program is so special even amongst all other special master's programs.